Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are looking at the second of two special edition Leatherman Charge Plus models that have recently hit the market. The, the, the one that we're going to be looking at today is really unique. It really is. This is the first time that Leatherman has put this type of scale on one of their multi-tools and I think it looks absolutely phenomenal. So what we're looking at here today is going to be the Leatherman Charge Plus Damascus but it is going to be in carbon fiber. So first of all, we're going to take a look at the box here. Very nice presentation box. It's going to include your, your bit kit uh, with 12 different bits, uh, six double-sided bits. Plus you have, well, let's just slip that out of there real quick. Plus you have your, your lanyard ring, uh, ring to go along with it in black oxide and the black oxide pocket clip as well very nice presentation box for both of these special edition models now I've touched on before on the last video was the Ainsworth leather sheath that comes with these two multi tools very very nice leather sheath it is a beautiful work of art it's one of those sheaths that that uh, you know I have this same one in the larger version for my one of my Leatherman Surge and I think is just a gorgeous sheath it's one of those that you know I will wear when I'm dressed up a little bit more, but you know, not so concerned about having a multi-tool on my hip. It's just a beautiful, beautiful sheath. It really is with the snap closure. I really love it. Let's get this carbon fiber version pulled out of here. It's like I got some of that black oxide on me from those tools. That takes a little bit to wear off. So here we go. This is the carbon fiber version, scaled version of the Leatherman Charge Plus. Now these two, the, the one I showed before and this one, were both $300 retail, plus with taxes and shipping cost $350 a piece to get them. I checked on eBay as soon as I got both of these in. The first version, the wood version, was selling for $1,000. This carbon fiber version, one of 300 was selling for $1,200 <laughs> just in the same day that Leatherman dropped them. On the same day, it was insane. The carbon fiber scales on here, oh, that it just, it feels so nice. I really wish you could just touch it to, to appreciate how nice this, Le this Leatherman Charge Plus is. Really gorgeous multi-tool. Now, unlike the wood version, this is going to have black oxide tools, so it's going to have black oxide on the rivets whereas on the wood version they accented those in yellow the same accent color they did the rest of the, the interior uh, stainless this one has black oxide I think it looks really good it, I think it would have looked better though if they had used the blue accent that they put here out on the rivets I think that would have looked really really sharp now it comes with Damascus blades as the name implies and I actually prefer the Damascus blade this look on this blade better than I did the other version and I think this is going to be probably the more sought after model of these two special editions that have recently come out just a gorgeous gorgeous blade it really is I really wish they gave us an option to add Damascus blades to a lot of our other multi-tools I think that would be fantastic then if we go around to the other side we have the serrated blade is also in that just beautifully crafted Damascus blade as well just absolutely stunning now the blue accent on here really makes this multi-tool pop I love that I wish they did this kind of thing more on just standard duty or standard uh, multi-tools like your your regular charges or wave it would be great on the wave accent the wave in different colors I think that would be a big hit as well as the surge the tooling on here is going to be identical to the rest of the charge lineup with the exception of these Damascus models obviously have Damascus blades as opposed to 154 cm or the S30V but the tool set within them is going to be identical very very good looking multi-tool has the 154 cm replaceable cutters in black oxide on this one all the tools are going to be identical as I mentioned before we'll just fan those out real quick so we get a look at those and that black oxide for the first two times you're going to use this thing is really you really got to take some gun cleaner or something to them to to on these black oxide version tools in order to get that initial 
uh, black off of them, you know, so that it wears in a little better. But it just really phenomenally good looking tool. This is the Leatherman Charge Plus Damascus Carbon Fiber with Blue Accents. It is an outstandingly good looking multi tool. It really is. I just can't get over how well that blue pops out against these against this tool. I, I think it looks I think it looks really good. If they had made the accent the blue accent and put that on the rivets as well, I think it would have looked even sharper. Now again, high dollar collector tool, not something that you're that the average consumer is going to be seeking. But for the collectors out there, uh, this is this is one of the you got to have this kind of tools. It really is just a beautiful, beautiful multi-tool. Love the fact that it comes with the Ainsworth sheath. Uh, it, of course, for the for the money that this thing costs, you you know you would expect that you should be getting the best of everything for what these things cost. The presentation box just beautiful as well. This has been a closer look at the special edition Leatherman Charge Plus Carbon Fiber Damascus. I hope you've enjoyed it. My name's Ben. You've been watching the Texas Tool Crib. Appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.